they should all be destroyed. Are you sure about that? We will protect the kingdom. You and I. You side with the humans. Against your own kind. This is suicide. We have no choice. We should attack with full force. Whatever you plan to do, do it now! Our world is dying. If our people are to survive, we must make a home here. Warcraft is a huge scale movie. It's the high wire act of filmmaking. From the first moment the film opens, it's larger than life. This film has wonderful characters, get on, and amazing creatures. It's stuff that you've never seen before. Step in. The orcs' world is dying. It's become a desert. They had no choice but to find another world. Let me go first. Most of them want to coexist peacefully and find a new home. But the leader of the orcs wants ultimate power. Claim my new world. <laughs> Majesty, I've sensed something. Dark forces. These monstrous beings are attacking our people. Our whole world is in trouble. Look around you. Wherever Goldan works his magic, the land dies. For orcs, there is no other life but war. No, but with the human's help, there could be. One of the unexpected surprises is the way our heroes end up coming together. Why are you here? To save our people. This is the only way to survive. Orcs and humans have to work together. Well, I've made a protection. I need no one to protect me. You side with the humans against your own kind. You all right? Despite the differences, they come together to defeat the common enemy. Trust in your friend. Together, you can save this world. You're talking about a scale of war that you've never seen before. The film is unique and really exciting. So this is one of those moments where the reality of making this movie has to step in on the game because there's no actual armory in the game. You get all your weapons from vendors or from drops. There's nowhere you go and say, oh, I'd like to try this and try that. This is poetic license and it's beautiful. I mean, some of these things are fantastically made. You look at this halberd, you've got the crest of Stormwind on the head of it and it feels great. What about the armor? Oh my God, they're all real. Look at the shields up there. I have a massive head. I think it's heavy. Look at this. This is a real thing. Ah, this is so exciting to me in so many ways. Weapons have done a beautiful job. It's the growth of the game. It's amazing. And we have ILM, the Tyrannosaur of CG work in our corner. We'd love to cast orcs and seven foot tall creatures, but they just don't exist. So we knew we had to go to visual effects and ILM was top on the list. Find these beasts. Whatever they are. Number one challenge on this film has got to be nailing the orcs. We had to create a whole race of orcs that had to hold their own against the live actors in the film. <laughs> the body motion capture was pretty traditional for us, but I think we really broke some ground with the faces. The first shot that we delivered was a close-up on Duratan. Very subtle, and yet there were important moments there to bring the character to life. It was really our way to show all the filmmakers, yes, we can pull these orcs off. And when they first saw it, they were floored. You could see his eyes responding, just these little subtle movements, and it felt alive. That was just an amazing experience. 
Hair is one of the most difficult things you can do in computer graphics, and we actually built one tool that we called Haircraft that was custom software specifically all about grooming hair. The variety and the depth of what we did for this film, as far as really complex environments, crowds, characters, compelling performances, magic, creatures that we got to create. It's really a dream come true to be able to work on. ILM have an incredible history of work that they've done. They're on the cutting edge, are pushing what's possible. They're pretty epic. Mighty Warband. Orgrim Doomhammer is a big bad orc. Duratan's best friend and longest serving confidant. Was Draka safe? And a great, great warrior. Orgrim is as much a fan of the orc's way of life as anything else. But Orgrim is much more of a warrior than Duratan is. Duratan is a leader and a chief. But Orgrim is much more base in many, many ways. Orgrim, he isn't a xenophobe, but he cannot countenance choosing humans over orcs. I did not see how we could side with the humans. It's our own kind. Even Gul'dan, as awful an orc as he might be, orcs come first. I follow a true orc! I think that it's so important to be able to feel physically that you can do what your character is able to do. Nice. Garona has lived in a world where she has to be tough to survive. She's a fierce, strong, warrior-like person. And so the physical preparation, it was very daunting. No, I can do this. No, no, no. I want to do this. Yeah. It was two and a half hours of physical training, six days a week. Then we added two hours of stunt training, and that's when I learned sword play, knives, sticks. We have a terrific stunt crew, but Paula has been willing to just sort of throw herself into their care. So we've actually been able to do an awful lot of stuff in camera with Paula that normally you would be using stunt people to do. So she's been fantastic. It's like any kid's dream, right? Is to be able to do things like this. <laughs> has been at peace but something is coming i can feel it dark forces are upon us find these beasts or whatever they are our world is dying there is nothing to go back to if our people are to survive, we must make a home here. Whatever happens. Whatever happens. If we do not unite, our world will perish. This doesn't need to happen. There is one who may help us. For orcs, there is no other life but war. No, but with the human's help, there could be. Why are you here? To save our people. Can we trust him? They're beasts. They should all be destroyed. Are you sure about that? We'll protect the kingdom. You and I. You side with the humans. Against your own kind. This is suicide. We have no choice. We should attack with full force. Whatever you plan to do, do it now! No! 